What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Brace Explained. Loving all the activity on this channel, please keep it up. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with this content. And today's question was asked by a number of you guys, and it's about the Herbst appliance. So let's go. So like I previously mentioned, the different classifications between class one, class two, class three, the Herbst appliance is mostly used for people that have a class two. So let's review what a class two bite looks like. A class two can be caused by your upper jaw being too far forward or your lower jaw being too far back. The times that we utilize functional appliances like the Herbst appliance though, is when your lower jaw is too far back to encourage it to grow forward. So to review, what we want to see is that your upper canines are fitting between these two teeth. As we said in a previous video, when your upper jaw is too far forward, this is called a class two relationship. And what the Herbst appliance does is that it encourages your lower jaw to move forward. So if you can imagine, this is very important in growing patients, but isn't very applicable in the adult patients. A good way to know if you're still growing is that your shoe size is still getting bigger. What the Herbst appliance does is that it attaches to the upper jaw and the lower jaw and it promotes you or forces you to move your lower jaw forward and that causes growth of your lower jaw. You have to have growth potential left, which means that you have to still be growing. So here's what a Herbst appliance looks like when it's cemented in. And again, thank you to AccuTech Laboratories for donating this appliance for me to show you guys. So a lot of times when you have a Herbst appliance, you have something that goes across your upper arch and something that goes across your lower arch. In this case, we have an expander on the upper arch, which I showed in another video. So if you guys are curious about what this is, that's an expander and you can learn more about it in a previous video. And on the bottom, what you see is a lower lingual holding arch, which I'll review in a next video. But the real part of the Herbst appliance is this telescope looking up lot part of the arms on the side. So if you have a class two relationship, when you put this in, it forces you to bring your lower jaw forward into class one. Now, you'll be able to open normally and bring your lower jaw forward, but what you can't do is return it to your normal position of being too far back. This may be tough to eat and chew with for the first couple of days, but trust me, you will definitely get used to it, and everyone that has it usually is perfectly fine with it after a couple of days. Once you get past a certain age though, you can't use the Herbst appliance because you're no longer growing. So if your lower jaw is still too far back in these cases, your orthodontist may recommend a lower jaw surgery which would bring your whole lower jaw forward and simulate what the Herbst appliance would do if you were younger. So the Herbst appliance isn't the only type of appliance that encourages your lower jaw to come forward. Actually there's a number of them and the category of them are called functional appliances. So different types of functional appliances are the Mara, the Herbst, and there's other things that encourage your lower jaw to come forward that aren't necessarily functional appliances like things like the Forces appliance, which is like a spring that pushes your lower jaw forward. The importance of these functional appliances though is that they have to be on all the time. If you're just bringing your lower jaw forward, it won't achieve the trick. A lot of people ask, how long will I have to keep this appliance in my mouth? And the answer is, it's gonna be needing to be in there for quite some time, at least a couple of months to encourage the growth, and a couple of more months to allow it to hold it so that your bones and everything, all your joints can remodel around it. Also, it has to have a high enough force, so those people that ask, oh, do elastics bring my lower jaw forward? Not necessarily. Elastics are, are used more to bring your lower teeth forward or your upper teeth back, but they don't necessarily change where your jaws are in relation to one another. Sometimes the problem with the class two is that the upper jaw is too far forward. In those cases, your orthodontist may recommend something more along the lines of a headgear, which I will talk about in a future video. Now in certain cases, in some orthodontists, they don't believe that these appliances work. So if you have a lower jaw that's too far back, sometimes the orthodontist will predict that you will have growth left and that your lower jaw will grow on its own so that you don't necessarily need a Herbst appliance. So to care for these things, you really gotta make sure that you're brushing them really well 
And also what I recommend is since food gets stuck in there, you can use a water pick to kind of dislodge the food throughout the day. If you guys want a link, I'll put it in the description below to where you guys can get a water pick online. And that's pretty much all there is to a Herbst Appliance. If you guys have had a Herbst Appliance, currently have one, or are planning on getting one, let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, out.